Is it true? Is what true, Jake? I've just found out that you've given the supervisor role to an external candidate. Is that true? Yes, that's right. Um, I can discuss this with you now if you'd like to. I can see that this is a disappointment to you, Jake. Well, of course it is. I was given every reason to believe her job was mine. Can you tell me what you mean by that? I certainly can. For a start, I've worked in this department for over five years. That's longer than anyone else. <laughs> maybe, maybe I've been here too long. But if anybody knows how things work around here, it's me. And it makes me the, the obvious choice to be promoted to supervisor. Everyone says so. Who says so? Uh, I can't remember, probably uh, Terry and, and Sue. Anyway, I wouldn't have put myself through the whole interview process had you not given me the false impression that I was the ideal candidate. Um, just so that I am clear about this, can, can you remember what it was that I said to give you that impression? When I said I wanted a promotion within the year, yes. you gave me the impression that it was realistic. And it just seems like you were setting me up for a fall. Jake, I still stand by all that I have said to you previously. I did not at any point tell you it was a done deal. I said you would be up against other candidates. Yeah, okay, maybe uh, you, you, know, you didn't promise me the job, but, but it does make sense that you'd offer it to an external candidate. I th it's not fair. Tell me, what do you mean when you say it's not fair? Well, but because of my experience. Why did I get the job? At the end of the process, I selected the candidate that gave me plenty of evidence of the success factors I'm looking for in the higher band. And doesn't my track record count for nothing then? It counts for a lot, Jake. I just felt that you were not ready just yet for a promotion. I'd like to meet up with you over the next week and go through the success factors in the higher band and identify and agree on areas where there is room for development. How do you feel about that? Well, if I'm completely honest, it feels like the company doesn't think I'm good enough for a promotion. Jake, I say it again. I felt you were not ready just yet for a promotion. Your aim to be a supervisor is in line with your potential rating and I am very willing to work with you on the areas you need to develop. But that job is not likely to be available anytime soon. Is it? If a promotion opportunity came up in a, another department or office, would you consider applying for that job? It probably. It, it, it depends where it was. Jake, you are understandably disappointed. It's just that you've got a little further to go until you're ready for promotion. I'd like to work with you and help you to develop your success factors to get you where you want to be. Does that sound okay to you? Yeah. I'm sorry I'm so frustrated. Uh, it, it, it just means a lot to me. I, I understand. Let's meet up next week and go through the success factors required for the next band up. Also, how about we both keep an eye out for promotion opportunities within the business? Hopefully it won't be too long before you can apply again for another supervisor role. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Uh, it sounds like a really good plan. Great. <sighs> Jake, I am really glad that you came and spoke to me about your frustrations. I, I want you to know that you're valued and I will support your career aspirations. Thank you.